creatures which had attacked Delois's party by the unorthodox means of defecating into their hands and throwing their droppings at the enemy. The creature was merely a South American spider monkey, said Sir Arthur, with the tail either cut off or hidden. Dr. Mantandon was not to be intimidated. He got his cousin, who worked for Standard Oil in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to send him a Standard Oil packing case, as seen in the original photograph. Upon this, Montendon placed first a standard spider monkey, and then a standard Frenchman. Comparisons seemed to make Lois's ape well over four feet tall. For Montendon, it was convincing proof. Since that day, no further evidence of a great ape has emerged from South America to vindicate Dr. Montendon or destroy theories of a hoax. But the question remains, why should a Swiss geologist not much interested in zoology, his companions dying or being murdered all around him, be bothered to fake a picture? For that reason, if for no other, Lois's ape remains a mystery.